Hey there everyone, it's Laser Dave from Trotec Laser. I'm back for another exciting deep dive. Today, we'll dive into the world of laser engraved photographs using multiple materials and the incredible Ruby software. Laser processing of photographs stands as one of the most impressive feats a laser can achieve. A laser engraved photo isn't merely a piece of art. It signifies and serves as a benchmark of a laser machine's excellence, especially when completed at the highest possible speeds. Such engravings don't just offer aesthetic appeal, it will also drastically increase the perceived value of that photograph after it is engraved. This deep dive video will showcase the tools and knowledge to achieve the best possible results when laser processing photos using your Trotec laser and the Ruby software. Using quality imagery is the first step in producing an excellent engraving. High image resolution, high contrast, and high dynamic range, also known as HDR, or the new AI-generated images, will make the best engraving. Whereas low quality, low lighting, and low resolution photos will create low quality engravings. This example being processed is being engraved with all this in mind. And as you can see, the results are truly stunning into this 24 by 12 solid maple wood sheet. This first example will walk through the basics, engraving this photo onto an 8x10 piece of solid, finished cherry wood. First place the wood into the laser, focus, and then close the laser lid. This example will showcase a high quality image that does not require any photo editing, as the quality, lighting, and resolution are outstanding. First open the Ruby software and go directly into the main prepare screen. Select the photo to be laser processed and drag that photo into this screen. Any color photo will automatically be converted to a grayscale as soon as it's imported into the Ruby software. Now size and position the image to match the desired material using the overhead camera, rulers or the red dot pointer. Select the material to be processed, then if using the overhead camera, you can turn off the color black and it will show a light, transparent image for better positioning of the photo. I recommend making the digital photo slightly larger than the material for a guaranteed edgeless engraving when the material is already pre-cut such as this. Once positioned, turn the color black back on, save the file, and then push the file to the laser. Start the laser and process the photo. This example is running on a Speedy 360 80 watt laser at 100% power, 50% speed at 500 dpi, with order dithering mode and the standard 2.0 inch lens. Photo engravings on most materials will typically be different than the standard preset material list, as photos usually require a more refined setting. It is recommended that you do some test engraved photos onto some scrap material in advance and then create a custom parameter for any materials that will be engraved with a photo. The preset material parameters are designed for black and white graphics and text. Once finished, remove from the laser, lightly wipe the dust from the surface with a damp cloth for the finished result. The following example will laser process this polished black marble with this high quality digital HDR image of this tiger to showcase the photo editing capabilities of the Ruby software. First. Open the Ruby software and import the color digital photo into the Manage screen. Select the photo and open it into the Design screen. The Design screen allows for some photo editing. I will first adjust the photo's size to work on a 6x6 marble tile, making the image slightly larger at 6.1x6.1 inches, and then fit the new dimensions to the page. Now, because this is a dark photo, to modify this photo, the small pencil icon can be selected at the upper right hand side of the image to edit and adjust the photo's brightness. This will open a histograph and allow for unlimited adjustment of that photo's tone range. Lasers do not like very dark or very light images, so the scale can be adjusted easily at the top and bottom to remove the black and very white parts, making the image more mid-toned or you can select the center part of this histogram by selecting any part of the curve for more adjustments. Knowing how much adjustment to make is a trial and error process and this will take some experience based on the image and the laser material reaction. Once changed, select the apply button. Next, because the stone will be engraved white, 
the image needs to be inverted. Here are the tools to mirror and invert an image as needed. Once complete, select Create Job and take that picture into the Prepare screen. Place the image over the material and choose the material's parameter. In this example, another custom photo setting was made for this marble from previous testing. Then push the file to the laser. Start the laser and engrave the image onto the marble. This black marble is running on a speedy 360, 80 watt laser at 21% power, 100% speed, 500 dpi, and order dithering mode with a standard 2.0 inch lens. Once finished, removed a beautiful laser engraved piece of black marble with an outstanding photo for the finished result. The Ruby software is also equipped with different photo dither patterns. Dither patterns are laser pulse patterns that determine how the finished photos will look when engraved onto a material. I will now process the four dither patterns available in the Ruby software onto sheets of natural, vegetable tanned leather to showcase the differences. To access the dither patterns, open Ruby and load and place the photo into the prepare screen. Select your custom made leather photo material parameter, then select the black drop down menu and scroll to the bottom of that color setting until you see dithering. Use the drop down next to this mode to see the four dither modes. The first is the default dither mode called ordered dithering. This mode was used on the previous cherry wood and marble examples. Here is the same order dithering mode onto leather to compare. Next is the stucky dither mode, processed onto the same leather sheet. As you can see, the visual effect is different. The third dither mode is called Floyd Steinberg. When this is processed, it produces yet another look onto the leather. Finally, the last dither mode offered with the Ruby Photo software is the Jarvis Judas Ninki dither pattern, creating yet another look. These four examples are engraved with the same material parameters at the same DPI on the same materials. And when reviewed side by side, each has a different look and effect. There is no wrong dither mode. These settings are a personal preference and you can choose based on what you like best. If you want to simplify the photo engraving process and improve output consistency, then an optional third-party photo dither rendering software can be purchased. These softwares can take away much of the trial and error by automating the photo engraving process, converting a quality photo into a custom-made dither pattern, and inverting and mirroring based on a selected material. Here is an example of the same image rendered for cherry wood on each of the three offered industry software choices. After these photos have been converted using these rendering softwares, simply import the converted image into the Ruby software, no different than any standard photo. The difference is that these images cannot be resized or changed after they are generated. After they are imported into the Ruby software and positioned over the material, select the photo engraved material parameter again and return to the dither mode section in the black setting. Because these graphics have a black and white custom created dither pattern already applied for these software rendered images to engrave correctly, the Ruby dither pattern must be turned to none before being sent to the laser. Once done, these photos can be sent to the laser and engraved like any other photo. Like the Ruby dither patterns, each of these softwares have a predefined look after they are engraved using the software to change the dither pattern based on the material selected when rendered in each software before sending to Ruby. Some of these softwares offer a 30-day trial so that you can see what you like best, but these softwares can also be expensive, ranging from $250 to $450. In this next example, I will showcase photos using different laser lenses. Each laser lens has a different tolerance and different spot size, dramatically influencing engraved images. The smaller the laser beam, the better the photograph. Here is an example of the same photo engraved onto a business card sized black anodized aluminum with the same laser parameters using a 1.5, 2.0, 2.5 and a 4 inch laser lens. The longer the lens distance, the larger the beam will be. And as the laser spot gets larger, 
the photo engraving details are reduced. Next is laser resolution. All examples so far have been engraved at 500 dpi. Here is an example of each of the provided DPI choices side by side on a business card size black anodized aluminum cards, shown with the laser processing time. As the resolution increases, the engraving time increases. The DPI can range from 125, 250, 333, 500, 600, and 1000 DPI. As DPI increases, the quality goes up but the engraving time is also increased, similar to a traditional inkjet printer. Here is another larger example run on a 4x6 sheet of leather with ordered dithering at 500 dpi next to 1000 dpi. And the quality difference between the two. As you can see, 1000 dpi is outstanding and looks like it was printed or developed rather than engraved. This final photo example will use this high quality wedding photo that has been mirrored so the picture can be seen from the backside through a translucent acrylic and then inverted in the Ruby design screen. Then laser processed using this custom laser parameter. Laser etching photos onto clear cast acrylic will produce a stunning high quality engraving and when correctly done this kind of engraving can be placed onto a light base that will light up the photo producing a unique extremely high valued product. Engraving photos can be an outstanding opportunity in the right markets, producing an extremely high return on investment. The key is using the best quality photos with quality high contrast materials, the correct laser lenses and laser parameters for the best quality engravings. Research has also proven the larger the engraved picture, the better the return on investment. So give it a try and with some practice and patience, you too can achieve results like this on your Trotec laser system. All web links and design files shown in this video will be included in the link below. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments section and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to see what I laser next. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time.